When I was younger, my mom used to say, shame on you when I did something she didn't like. Now, I didn't totally comprehend what shame meant, but I knew when she said it to me, I felt embarrassed and bad about myself. I started to internalize that loop in my head. So then it became, got a C in chemistry? Shame on me. Wrecked my first car? Shame on me. Kissed somebody else's boyfriend? Big shame on me. But as I got older and the life events got bigger, my shame grew exponentially. I became a pro at feeling shame. I'd feel shame for things that I didn't do, things that weren't my fault, things I didn't even see coming. And what did I do with all that shame? I stuffed it down inside me. I wasn't gonna let anybody see what I thought were the dirty parts of my life. And instead, what did I do? Because here's the thing, as humans, we often have to develop a coping mechanism when we stuff an energy like that, right? We need something. Some people drink, some people gamble, some people online shop. I became a perfectionist. And perfectionism was my drug of choice. I figured I would do everything perfectly right. I'd have the perfect job, the perfect house, I'd wear the perfect thing. All this did was create this enormous amount of anxiety in me because the truth is, Nobody's perfect and you can't do that. Because here's the thing about shame. Shame is not an energy that just lies dormant in your removable appendix or your right big toe. No, shame is a powerful, powerful, dangerous energy that courses through your body, up and down your spine. It makes your head throb. It makes your stomach upset. Or if you're like me, it feels like somebody's fist is right here in your solar plexus and you feel lost and sick and you don't know what's happening. So how do we do it? How do we let go of all that shame? What can we do? First of all, you have to create a safe space, right? You're gonna talk about your shame. You're gonna bring it all up because the logical thing is, is that if shame is, comes from secrets, then what you need to do is spill the beans, all of them. But you have to do it with somebody you trust. So create that safe space. Do it with a counselor, a therapist, a friend, a spouse, somebody you trust implicitly. And tell them, tell them everything you're ashamed of. Because the magic is this, when you speak those dirty parts of yourself, you realize they're not dirty at all. They're victorious and clean. They're like the most beautiful parts of you bubbling effervescently to the surface. And when you can get to that space where you can release that toxic energy, well then, then you can be who you're truly meant to be.